Marine protected areas MPA, are protected areas of seas, oceans, estuaries or large lakes. These marine areas can come in many forms ranging from wildlife refuges to research facilities. MPAs restrict human activity for a conservation purpose, typically to protect natural or cultural resources. Such marine resources are protected by local, state, territorial, native, regional, national, or international authorities and differ substantially among and between nations. This variation includes different limitations on development, fishing practices, fishing seasons and catch limits, moorings and bans on removing or disrupting marine life. In some situations, such as with the Phoenix Islands protected area, MPAs also provide revenue for countries, potentially equal to the income that they would have if they were to grant companies permissions to fish. On 28 October 2016 in Hobart, Australia, the Convention for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources agreed to establish the first Antarctic and largest marine protected area in the world encompassing 1.55 million square kilometers 600,000 square miles in the Ross Sea. Other large MPAs are in the Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic Oceans, in certain exclusive economic zones of Australia and overseas territories of France, the United Kingdom and the United States, with major 990,000 square kilometers 380,000 square miles or larger new or expanded MPAs by these nations since 2012. Such as Natural Park of the Coral Sea, Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument, Coral Sea Commonwealth Marine Reserve and South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands Marine Protected Area. When counted with MPAs of all sizes from many other countries, as of August 2016 there are more than 13,650 MPAs, encompassing 2.07% of the world. S oceans, with half of that area, encompassing 1.03% of the world. S. Oceans, receiving complete no-take designation. Terminology MPA is an umbrella term for protected areas that includes some area of marine landscape and or biodiversity. The IUCN defines a marine protected area as any area of the intertidal or subtidal terrain, together with its overlying water and associated flora, fauna, historical and cultural features, which has been reserved by law or other effective means to protect part or all of the enclosed environment. An alternative is a clearly defined geographical space, recognized, dedicated, and managed through legal or other effective means, to achieve the long-term conservation of nature with associated ecosystem services and cultural values. United States Executive Order 13158 in May 2000 established MPAs, defining them as any area of the marine environment that has been reserved by federal, state, tribal, territorial, or local laws or regulations to provide lasting protection for part or all of the natural and cultural resources therein. The Convention on Biological Diversity defined the broader term of Marine and Coastal Protected Area MCPA. Any defined area within or adjacent to the marine environment, together with its overlying water and associated flora, fauna, historical and cultural features, which has been reserved by legislation or other effective means, including custom, with the effect that its marine and or coastal biodiversity enjoys a higher level of protection than its surroundings. Classifications Several types of compliant MPA can be distinguished A totally marine area with no significant terrestrial parts. An area containing both marine and terrestrial components, which can vary between two extremes, those that are predominantly maritime with little land, for example, an atoll would have a tiny island with a significant maritime population surrounding it, or that is mostly terrestrial. Marine ecosystems that contain land and intertidal components only. For example, a mangrove forest would contain no open sea or ocean marine environment, but its river-like marine ecosystem nevertheless complies with the definition. IUCN offered seven categories of protected area, based on management objectives and four broad governance types. Related protected area categories include the following 
World Heritage Site WHS, an area exhibiting extensive natural or cultural history. Maritime areas are poorly represented, however, with only 46 out of over 800 sites. Man and the Biosphere – UNESCO program that promotes a balanced relationship between humans and the biosphere. Under Article 4, biosphere reserves must encompass a mosaic of ecological systems and thus combine terrestrial, coastal, or marine ecosystems. In structure they are similar to multiple-use MPAs, with a core area ringed by different degrees of protection. Ramsar site, must meet certain criteria for the definition of wetland, to become part of a global system. These sites do not necessarily receive protection, but are indexed by importance for later recommendation to an agency that could designate it a protected area, while area refers to a single contiguous location, terms such as network, system, and region. That group MPAs are not always consistently employed. System is more often used to refer to an individual MPA, whereas region is defined by the World Conservation Monitoring Center as a collection of individual MPAs operating cooperatively, at various spatial scales and with a range of protection levels that are designed to meet objectives that a single reserve cannot achieve. At the 2004 Convention on Biological Diversity, the agency agreed to use network on a global level, while adopting system for national and regional levels. The network is a mechanism to establish regional and local systems, but carries no authority or mandate, leaving all activity within the system. No take zones NTZs, are areas designated in a number of the world. SMPAs, where all forms of exploitation are prohibited and severely limits human activities. These no-take zones can cover an entire MPA, or specific portions. For example, the 1,150,000 square kilometers 440,000 square miles, Papahanuamokuakea Marine National Monument, the world. S largest MPA and largest protected area of any type, land or sea, is a 100% no-take zone. Related terms include specially protected area (SPA), special area of conservation (SAC), the United Kingdom's marine conservation zones (MCZs), or area of special conservation (ASC), etc., which each provide specific restrictions. Stressors. Stressors that affect oceans include the impact of extractive industries, localized pollution, and changes to its chemistry ocean acidification, resulting from elevated carbon dioxide levels, due to our emissions. MPAs have been cited as the ocean's single greatest hope for increasing the resilience of the marine environment to such stressors. Well-designed and managed MPAs developed with input and support from interested stakeholders can conserve biodiversity and protect and restore fisheries. Economics MPAs can help sustain local economies by supporting fisheries and tourism. For example, Apo Island in the Philippines made protected one quarter of their reef, allowing fish to recover, jump-starting their economy. This was shown in the film, Resources at Risk, Philippine Coral Reef. A 2016 report by the Center for Development and Strategy found that programs like the United States National Marine Sanctuary System can develop considerable economic benefits for communities through public-private partnerships. Management Typical MPAs restrict fishing, oil and gas mining and or tourism. Other restrictions may limit the use of ultrasonic devices like sonar, which may confuse the guidance system of cetaceans, development, construction and the like. Some fishing restrictions include no-take zones, which means that no fishing is allowed. Less than 1% of U.S. MPAs are no-take. Ship transit can also be restricted or banned, either as a preventive measure or to avoid direct disturbance to individual species. The degree to which environmental regulations affect shipping varies according to whether MPAs are located in territorial waters, exclusive economic zones, or the high seas. The law of the sea regulates these limits. 
Most MPAs have been located in territorial waters, where the appropriate government can enforce them. However, MPAs have been established in exclusive economic zones and in international waters. For example, Italy, France and Monaco in 1999 jointly established a cetacean sanctuary in the Ligurian Sea named the Palagos Sanctuary for Mediterranean Marine Mammals. This sanctuary includes both national and international waters. Both the CBD and IUCN recommended a variety of management systems for use in a protected area system. They advocated that MPAs be seen as one of many nodes in a network of protected areas. The following are the most common management systems. Seasonal and temporary management. Activities, most critically fishing, are restricted seasonally or temporarily, e.g., to protect spawning, nursing grounds or to let a rapidly reducing species recover. Multiple use MPAs. These are the most common and arguably the most effective. These areas employ two or more protections. The most important sections get the highest protection, such as a no-take zone and are surrounded with areas of lesser protections. Community involvement and related approaches Community-managed MPAs empower local communities to operate partially or completely independent of the governmental jurisdictions they occupy. Empowering communities to manage resources can lower conflict levels and enlist the support of diverse groups that rely on the resource such as subsistence and commercial fishers, scientists, recreation, tourism businesses, youths and others. Marine Protected Area Networks Marine Protected Area Networks or MPA networks have been defined as a group of MPAs that interact with one another ecologically and or socially form a network. These networks are intended to connect individuals and MPAs and promote education and cooperation among various administrations and user groups. MPA networks are, from the perspective of resource users, intended to address both environmental and socio-economic needs, complementary ecological and social goals and designs need greater research and policy support. Filipino communities connect with one another to share information about MPAs, creating a larger network through the social community's support. Emerging or established MPA networks can be found in Australia, Belize, the Red Sea, Gulf of Aden and Mexico. International efforts The 17th International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, General Assembly in San Jose, California, the 19th IUCN Assembly and the 4th World Parks Congress all proposed to centralize the establishment of protected areas. The World Summit on Sustainable Development in 2002 called for the establishment of marine protected areas consistent with international laws and based on scientific information, including representative networks by 2012. The Evian Agreement, signed by G8 nations in 2003, agreed to these terms. The Durban Action Plan, developed in 2003, called for regional action and targets to establish a network of protected areas by 2010 within the jurisdiction of regional environmental protocols. It recommended establishing protected areas for 20 to 30 percent of the world's oceans by the goal date of 2012. The Convention on Biological Diversity considered these recommendations and recommended requiring countries to set up marine parks controlled by a central organization before merging them. The United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change agreed to the terms laid out by the convention, and in 2004, its member nations committed to the following targets, by 2006 complete an area system gap analysis at national and regional levels. By 2008 address the less represented marine ecosystems, accounting for those beyond national jurisdiction in accordance. By 2009 designate the protected areas identified through the gap analysis. By 2012 complete the establishment of a comprehensive and ecologically representative network. 
The establishment by 2010 of terrestrial and by 2012 for marine areas of comprehensive, effectively managed, and ecologically representative national and regional systems of protected areas that collectively, inter alia through a global network, contribute to achieving the three objectives of the Convention and the 2010 target to significantly reduce the current rate of biodiversity loss at the global, regional, national, and sub-national levels and contribute to poverty reduction and the pursuit of sustainable development." The UN later endorsed another decision, Decision 7, 15, in 2006. Effective conservation of 10% of each of the world's ecological regions by 2010. United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change Decision 7, 15. Global Treaties United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea The Antarctic Treaty System On 7 April 1982, the Convention on the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources CAMLR Convention came into force after discussions began in 1975 between parties of the then-current Antarctic Treaty to limit large-scale exploitation of krill by commercial fisheries. The convention bound contracting nations to abide by previously agreed upon Antarctic territorial claims and peaceful use of the region while protecting ecosystem integrity south of the Antarctic Convergence and 60s latitude. In so doing, it also established a commission of the original signatories and exceeding parties called the Commission for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources CCAMLR, to advance these aims through protection, scientific study, and rational use, such as harvesting, of those marine resources. Though separate, the Antarctic Treaty and CCAMLR make up part the broader system of international agreements called the Antarctic Treaty System. Since 1982, the CCAMLR meets annually to implement binding conservation's measures like the creation of protected areas at the suggestion of the Convention's Scientific Committee. In 2009, the CCAMLR created the first high seas MPA entirely within international waters over the southern shelf of the South Orkney Islands. This area encompasses 94,000 square kilometers, 36,000 square miles, and all fishing activity including transshipment and dumping or discharge of waste is prohibited with the exception of scientific research endeavors. On the 28th of October 2016, the CCAMLR, composed of 24 member countries and the European Union at the time, agreed to establish the world's largest marine park encompassing 1.55 million square kilometers, 600,000 square miles in the Ross Sea after several years of failed negotiations. Establishment of the Ross Sea MPA required unanimity of the commission members and enforcement will begin in December 2017. However, due to a sunset provision inserted into the proposal, the new marine park will only be in force for 35 years. Regional organizations PIMPAC NAMPAM CCAMLR National targets Many countries have established national targets, accompanied by action plans and implementations. The UN Council identified the need for countries to collaborate with each other to establish effective regional conservation plans. Some national targets are listed in the table below. National efforts The Marine Protected Area Network is still in its infancy. As of October 2010, approximately 6,800 MPAs had been established, covering 1.17% of global ocean area. Protected areas covered 2.86% of Exclusive Economic Zones EEZs. MPAs covered 6.3% of territorial seas. Many prohibit the use of harmful fishing techniques yet only 0.01% of the ocean's area is designated as a no-take zone. This coverage is far below the projected goal of 20% to 30% those targets have been questioned mainly due to the cost of managing protected areas and the conflict that protections have generated with human demand for marine goods and services. Africa South Africa 
The Table Mountain National Park Marine Protected Area is a marine protected area around the Cape Peninsula, in the vicinity of Cape Town, South Africa. It was proclaimed in Government Gazette No. 26431 of 4 June 2004 in terms of the Marine Natural Resources Act, 18 of 1998. The MPA is a value for conservation of a wide range of endemic species, and has considerable economic value as a tourist destination. It encloses a large number of recreational dive sites visited by local residents and tourists from further afield. The shark and whale watching tourist industries are also represented, and there are several popular surf breaks. The MPA includes controlled zones where extractive activities are allowed under permit, and smaller no-take zones. The MPA is administrated by the Table Mountain National Park, a branch of Sandparks. The marine ecology is unusually varied for an area of this size, as a result of the meeting of two major oceanic water masses near Cape Point, and the park extends into two coastal marine bioregions. The ecology of the west or Atlantic seaboard side of the park is noticeably different in character and biodiversity to that of the east, or False Bay. Side. Both sides are classified as temperate waters, but there is a significant difference in average temperature, with the Atlantic side being noticeably colder. The MPA contains culturally significant fish traps, historical wrecks and traditional fishing communities, and is also important for commercial fisheries. Part of the West Coast rock lobster industry takes place within the MPA, as well as recreational and subsistence fishers, and an illegal poaching industry mostly targeting abalone, rock lobster and territorial linefish from the no-take zones. Greater Caribbean the Greater Caribbean subdivision encompasses an area of about 5,700,000 square kilometers, 2,200,000 square miles of ocean and 38 nations. The area includes island countries like the Bahamas and Cuba and the majority of Central America. The Convention for Protection and Development of the Marine Environment of the Wider Caribbean Region, better known as the Cartagena Convention, was established in 1983. Protocols involving protected areas were ratified in 1990. As of 2008, the region hosted about 500 MPAs. Coral reefs are the best represented. Two networks are under development, the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef System, a long barrier reef that borders the coast of much of Central America, and the Islands in the Stream program covering the Gulf of Mexico. Southeast Asia Southeast Asia is a global epicenter for marine diversity. 12% of its coral reefs are in MPAs. The Philippines have some of the world's best coral reefs and protect them to attract international tourism. Most of the Philippines' MPAs are established to secure protection for its coral reef and seagrass habitats. Indonesia has MPAs designed for tourism and relies on tourism as a main source of income. Philippines. The Philippines host one of the most highly biodiverse regions, with 464 reef-building coral species. Due to overfishing, destructive fishing techniques, and rapid coastal development, these are in rapid decline. The country has established some 600 MPAs. However, the majority are poorly enforced and are highly ineffective. However, some have positively impacted reef health, increased fish biomass, decreased coral bleaching and increased yields in adjacent fisheries. One notable example is the MPA surrounding Apo Island. Latin America Latin America has designated one large MPA system. As of 2008, 0.5% of its marine environment was protected, mostly through the use of small, multiple-use MPAs. South Pacific the South Pacific network ranges from Belize to Chile. Governments in the region adopted the Lima Convention and Action Plan in 1981. An MPA-specific protocol was ratified in 1989. The Permanent Commission on the Exploitation and Conservation on the Marine Resources of the South Pacific promotes the exchange of studies and information among participants. The region is currently running one comprehensive cross national program, the Tropical Eastern Pacific Marine Corridor Network, signed in April 2004. 
The network covers about 211 million square kilometers, 81 million square miles. One alternative to imposing MPAs on an indigenous population is through the use of indigenous protected areas such as those in Australia. North Pacific the North Pacific Network covers the western coasts of Mexico, Canada, and the U.S. The Antigua Convention and an action plan for the North Pacific region were adapted in 2002. Participant nations manage their own national systems. In 2010-2011, the state of California completed hearings and actions via the State Department of Fish and Game to establish new MPAs. United States and Pacific Island Territories President Barack Obama signed a proclamation on September 25, 2014, designating the world's largest marine reserve. The proclamation expanded the existing Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument, one of the world most pristine tropical marine environments, to six times its current size, encompassing 490,000 square miles square kilometers of protected area around these islands. Expanding the monument protected the area's unique deep coral reefs and seamounts. In April 2009, the U.S. established a United States National System of Marine Protected Areas, which strengthens the protection of U.S. ocean, coastal and Great Lakes resources. These large-scale MPAs should balance the interests of conservationists, fishers, and the public. As of 2009, 225 MPAs participated in the national system. Sites work together toward common national and regional conservation goals and priorities. NOAA's National Marine Protected Areas Center maintains a comprehensive inventory of all 1,600-plus MPAs within the U.S. Exclusive Economic Zone. Most U.S. MPAs dot allow some type of extractive use. Fewer than 1% of U.S. waters prohibit all extractive activities. In 1981 Olympic National Park became a marine protected area. The total protected site area is 3,697 square kilometers, 1,427 square miles, 173.2 square kilometers of the area was an MPA. The national system is a mechanism to foster MPA collaboration. Sites that meet pertinent criteria are eligible to join the national system. Four entry criteria govern admission. Meets the definition of an MPA as defined in the framework. Has a management plan, can be site-specific or part of a broader programmatic management plan, must have goals and objectives and call for monitoring or evaluation of those goals and objectives. Contributes to at least one priority conservation objective as listed in the framework. Cultural Heritage MPAs must also conform to criteria for the National Register for Historic Places. In 1999, California adopted the Marine Life Protection Act, establishing the first state law requiring a comprehensive, science based MPA network. The state created the Marine Life Protection Act initiative. The MLPA Blue Ribbon Task Force and Stakeholder and Scientific Advisory Groups ensure that the process uses the science and public participation. The MLPA initiative established a plan to create California's statewide MPA network by 2011 in several steps. The Central Coast step was successfully completed in September, 2007. The North Central Coast step was completed in 2010. The South Coast and North Coast steps were expected to go into effect in 2012. Indian Ocean In exchange for some of its national debt being written off, the Seychelles designates two new marine protected areas in the Indian Ocean, covering about 210,000 square kilometers 81,000 square miles. It is the result of a financial deal, brokered in 2016 by the Nature Conservancy. United Kingdom and British Overseas Territories United Kingdom There are a number of marine protected areas around the coastline of the United Kingdom, known as marine conservation zones in England, Wales, and Northern Ireland, marine protection areas in Scotland. They are to be found in inshore and offshore waters. British Overseas Territories 
The United Kingdom is also creating marine protected reserves around several British overseas territories. The UK is responsible for 6.8 million square kilometers of ocean around the world, larger than all but four other countries. The Chagos Marine Protected Area in the Indian Ocean was established in 2010 as a no-take zone, with a total surface area of 640,000 square kilometers (250,000 square miles). It was the world's largest contiguous marine reserve. In March 2015, the UK announced the creation of a marine reserve around the Pitcairn Islands in the Southern Pacific Ocean to protect its special biodiversity. The area of 830,000 square kilometers (320,000 square miles) surpassed the Chagos Marine Protected Area as the world S largest contiguous marine reserve until the August 2016 expansion of the Papahanaumokuakea Marine National Monument in the United States to 1,510,000 square kilometers (580,000 square miles). In January 2016, the UK government announced the intention to create a marine protected area around Ascension Island. The protected area will be 234,291 square kilometers, 90,460 square miles, half of which will be closed to fishing. Europe the Natura 2000 Ecological MPA Network in the European Union included MPAs in the North Atlantic, the Mediterranean Sea and the Baltic Sea. The member states had to define Natura 2000 areas at sea in their exclusive economic zone. Two assessments, conducted 30 years apart, of three Mediterranean MPAs, demonstrate that proper protection allows commercially valuable and slow-growing red coral Coralium rubrum, to produce large colonies in shallow water of less than 50 meters 160 feet. Shallow water colonies outside these decades-old MPAs are typically very small. The MPAs are Banyuls, Cary La Rouette and Scandola, off the island of Corsica. Mediterranean Science Commission proposed the creation of seven marine protected areas. Peace Parks. WWF together with other partners proposed the creation of MedPan, Network of Marine Protected Areas Managers in the Mediterranean, which aims to protect 10% of the surface of the Mediterranean by 2020. Notable Marine Protected Areas the Bowie Seamount Marine Protected Area off the coast of British Columbia, Canada. The Great Barrier Reef Marine Park in Queensland, Australia. The Ligurian Sea Cetacean Sanctuary in the Seas of Italy, Monaco and France. The Dry Tortugas National Park in the Florida Keys, USA. The Papahanaumokuakea Marine National Monument in Hawaii. The Phoenix Islands Protected Area, Kiribati. The Channel Islands National Marine Sanctuary in California, USA. The Chagos Marine Protected Area in the Indian Ocean. The Wadden Sea bordering the North Sea in the Netherlands, Germany, and Denmark. Assessment Managers and scientists use geographic information systems and remote sensing to map and analyze MPAs. NOAA Coastal Services Center compiled an inventory of GIS-based decision support tools for MPAs. The report focuses on GIS tools with the highest utility for MPA processes. Remote sensing uses advances in aerial photography image capture, pop-up archival satellite tags, satellite imagery, acoustic data, and radar imagery. Mathematical models that seek to reflect the complexity of the natural setting may assist in planning harvesting strategies and sustaining fishing grounds. Coral reefs Coral reef systems have been in decline worldwide. Causes include overfishing, pollution and ocean acidification. As of 2013 30% of the world's reefs were severely damaged. Approximately 60% will be lost by 2030 without enhanced protection. Marine reserves with no-take zones are the most effective form of protection. Only about 0.01% of the world 
S. Coral reefs are inside effective MPAs. Fish MPAs can be an effective tool to maintain fish populations, see refuge ecology. The general concept is to create overpopulation within the MPA. The fish expand into the surrounding areas to reduce crowding, increasing the population of unprotected areas. This helps support local fisheries in the surrounding area, while maintaining a healthy population within the MPA. Such MPAs are most commonly used for coral reef ecosystems. One example is at Goat Island Bay in New Zealand, established in 1977. Research gathered at Goat Bay documented the spillover effect. Spillover and larval export The drifting of millions of eggs and larvae beyond the reserve have become central concepts of marine conservation. This positively impacted commercial fishermen in surrounding areas. Another unexpected result of MPAs is their impact on predatory marine species, which in some conditions can increase in population. When this occurs, prey populations decrease. One study showed that in 21 out of 39 cases, trophic cascades caused a decrease in herbivores, which led to an increase in the quantity of plant life. This occurred in the Malindi Kisite and Watamu Marion National Parks in Kenya, the Lee Marine Reserve in New Zealand, and Brackett's Landing Conservation Area in the U.S. Success criteria Both CBD and IUCN have criteria for setting up and maintaining MPA networks, which emphasize four factors. Adequacy Ensuring that the sites have the size, shape, and distribution to ensure the success of selected species. Representability Protection for all of the local environment's biological processes Resilience the resistance of the system to natural disaster, such as a tsunami or flood. Connectivity Maintaining population links across nearby MPAs Misconceptions Misconceptions about MPAs include the belief that all MPAs are no-take or no-fishing areas. However, less than 1% of U.S. waters are no-take areas. MPA activities can include consumption fishing, diving and other activities. Another misconception is that most MPAs are federally managed. Instead, MPAs are managed under hundreds of laws and jurisdictions. They can be exist in state, commonwealth, territory and tribal waters. Another misconception is that a federal mandate dedicates a set percentage of ocean to MPAs. Instead the mandate requires an evaluation of current MPAs and creates a public resource on current MPAs. Criticism Some existing and proposed MPAs have been criticized by indigenous populations and their supporters, as impinging on land usage rights. For example, the proposed Chagos protected area in the Chagos Islands is contested by Chagosians deported from their homeland in 1965 by the British as part of the creation of the British Indian Ocean Territory BIO. According to WikiLeaks Cablegate documents, the UK proposed that the BIO become a marine reserve with the aim of preventing the former inhabitants from returning to their lands and to protect the joint UK-US military base on Diego Garcia Island. Other critiques include, their cost, higher than that of passive management, conflicts with human development goals, inadequate scope to address factors such as climate change and invasive species. Recent research In 2010, one study found that fish larvae can drift on ocean currents and recede fish stocks at a distant location. This finding demonstrated that fish populations can be connected to distant locations through the process of larval drift. They investigated the yellow tang, because larvae of this species stay in the general area of the reef in which they first settle. The tropical yellow tang is heavily fished by the aquarium trade. By the late 1990s, their stocks were collapsing. Nine MPAs were established off the coast of Hawaii to protect them. Larval drift has helped them establish themselves in different locations, and the fishery is recovering. 
We've clearly shown that fish larvae that were spawned inside marine reserves can drift with currents and replenish fished areas long distances away," said co-author Mark Hickson. See also References Citations Wells, Sue, Shepard, V., Van Leveren, H., Barnard, N., Kershaw, F., Corrigan, C., Teleki, K., Stock, P., Adler, E., 2008. National and Regional Networks of Marine Protected Areas, A Review of Progress. Master Evaluation for the UN Effort. World Conservation Monitoring Center The Americas. Retrieved 18 March 2009. Smith, D., Miller, K. A. 2003. Safe Harbors for Our Future, An Overview of Marine Protected Areas. In, S. F. Norton, ed. Diving for Science. Point 2003. Proceedings of the American Academy of Underwater Sciences, 22nd Annual Scientific Diving Symposium. Retrieved 13 August 2008. Australian Government, Department of the Environment and Water Resources, May 2007. Growing Up Strong, The First Ten Years of Indigenous Protected Areas in Australia. PDF. Canberra, Australian Government. ISBN 0642553521. Retrieved 8 May 2008. Inconsistent citations. Further reading. Spatty, Fabio. 2000. Navigation in Marine Protected Areas: National and International Law. Ocean Development and International Law, 31 to 285 -302. DOI: 10.1080/009083200041317. Marcus J. Cackle, 2008, Particularly Sensitive Sea Areas, Hamburg Studies on Maritime Affairs Mostakis, A. Caracassus, I. How Diverse is Aquatic Biodiversity Research? PDF. Aquatic Ecology, 39-367-375. doi, 10.1007 per seconds 10452 y Mostakis, A., Caracassus, I. A Geographic Analysis of the Published Aquatic Biodiversity Research in Relation to the Ecological Footprint of the Country Where the Work Was Done. Stochastic Environmental Research and Risk Assessment, 23-737-748. doi, 10.1007 per seconds 00477-008-02542. Christie, Patrick. Marine Protected Areas and Biological Successes and Social Failures in Southeast Asia. School of Marine Affairs and Henry M. Jackson School of International Studies. University of Washington. Washington. January 5, 2004. External links Empatlas.org is an online tool from the Marine Conservation Institute that provides information on the world's protected areas and global MPA campaigns. Information comes from a variety of sources, including the World Database on Protected Areas WDPA, and many regional and national databases. Marine protected areas are included on the WDPA, which, since 2010 is viewable via Protected Planet, an online interactive search engine hosted by the United Nations Environment Programs World Conservation Monitoring Center, UNEP WCMC. Protect Planet Ocean, Marine Protected Areas Site A to Z of Areas of Biodiversity Importance, Marine Protected Areas MPA News, monthly news and analysis on marine protected areas worldwide Microdocs. The short attention span science theater on ecological sustainability. CitationHabitat.org, Citation Habitat Directory for MPAs, national and international sanctuaries Yfiles. Org, huge Pacific Reserve formed in Hawaii 
WWF, an overview of marine protected areas in the UK Misconceptions concerning MPAs NOAA. New research shows massive increase in biomass and diversity in what has been called the best MPA in the world MPATLAS, a joint project of Marine Conservation Institute and the Waite Foundation Cellular Automata Model of an MPA Fishery Wolfram Demonstrations Project Requires CDF Player Free